at the Northeast Conference headquarters for our weekly fall sports spotlight presented by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Today I am joined by an undoubted future NEC Hall of Famer, Annika Foyt from LIU Brooklyn. She's a two-time NEC Player of the Year, and even more impressive in a lot of people's opinion is that she is a Capital One Academic All-American. Last year she led LIU Brooklyn to an unprecedented eighth tournament championship. You know, LIU Brooklyn has been pretty dominant in the NEC in recent years. Here's just some stats for you right now. They have the longest NCAA Division I regular season conference win streak. It's a mouthful, but that's 32 consecutive games that they have not lost in conference play. That began back in 2011 when Annika came to LIU Brooklyn. Uh, they're led by three-time NEC Coach of the Year, Kyle Robinson, and they hold an astonishing 49-3. and I'm going to repeat that. 49-3 and NEC record over the past three years, and they've been undefeated in NEC play in 2012 and 2013. So, Annika, that's, that's quite a resume that you guys have over there, and you've been on the road to start your two season tournaments, uh, early season tournaments. You started out on the West Coast, had a little bit of a tough time, but now you guys seem to be back in your regular form. Do you guys feel much more comfortable now that you've got a few games under your belt? Yes, we progressed since the first tournament. As you said, the first tournament was not was a little bit rough for us, but now we're getting there. So tell me a little bit about your time in L.A. and on the West Coast. Was this your first time traveling out West? No, we already, my, I think my freshman year we went to Fresno State. Then my sophomore year we were in L.A. and in San Francisco. Is it tough to adjust to the time change? Is it kind of exciting to be out on the West Coast and playing? Yeah, it's exciting for us because it was warm there. And also the time difference doesn't really matter to us because... Most of us are from Europe, so when we come to the States, we already have to adjust, so it does make a big difference for us. Was there anything that you did off the court that really kind of highlighted your trip? Did you go on any fun, uh, see anything cool, get to experience the beach maybe? Uh, we went to uh, Hollywood and then to the pier, I think Santa Monica Pier. Yeah. Okay, cool. So did you nice. meet anybody famous? No. In Hollywood? No. <laughs> So are, you're coming back here. Tonight is your home opener. What's the team feeling now that you guys finally get to play at the Wellness Center? We're very happy to play at home finally, and we hope that a lot of people are going to come to support us, and we hope we're going to win tonight. You said uh, you want a lot of people there, and I, if I remember, you guys have quite the following. You guys have a huge uh, fan base. Are you expecting the court to be packed or the gym to be packed tonight? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> it's, a, it's Wednesday and a lot of people have classes, but I really hope that they're still going to come after their class. Now, you guys get pretty, it's a loud gym. I mean, do you guys, when you're on the court, do you feed off of that excitement? Do you feel any extra, I don't know, You like you're really going to do awesome just because you have such a great following? Yes, there's a little bit more, like an extra push when there's people supporting you and also knowing that, for example, when we have home games, it's easier for our parents to watch, so we know that they are watching, so that's also great. A nice little NEC front row plug. Thank you for that. And tonight's <laughs> game will also be on NEC front row. I'm sure your parents will be watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let's kind of dig in a little bit to you guys. To say you're the only star on this team is hard to say. You know, you have a three-time NEC setter of the year, Barrett Jurek and two-time NEC libero of the year, Adriana Vinas Joy. How do you feel that you three, I know you have a solid stacked team, but how do you feel that you three really have made this team a better squad? Mm, I mean, everyone on the team is important to us. Everyone, we make each other better through working hard in practice and through pushing each other. So it's not really that we make each other, like that. that's only us three. I mean, for sure we, we hold everyone to high standards. We tell them like they have to work hard, and we make sure that they do their jobs while also making sure we do our job. Um, so you guys have a you know a pretty veteran team. 
and you guys have been playing together for you know two or three years now. Is there a, is there a, a greater trust in that you know each other so well on the court? Yes, it, it's very easy because especially with the setter, I know Vera since my freshman year, so we played we played for a really long time. Tamara already got to play with her two years, so we know how each other's brains work. Maybe you can say that. <laughs> no, that makes so, sense. So we know how to, if, if someone is, is down, is not playing well, we know what to tell them, how to, push, how to push them, and how to make them feel better. So when you guys are on, the, and you, like you said, you kind of know what to say to each other to make each other play better, what kind of, is it, is it more of a loving relationship or on the, uh, off the, uh, on the court, or is it more of a in-your-face, okay, I'm going to yell at you to get you motivated? No, we we like uh, positive criticism. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes uh, yes, we are in each other's faces because if that's gonna make the person better, then that's good. But we love each other. <laughs> <laughs> so as you mentioned earlier, you do have it is a lot more than just you three. And this year specifically, we've seen a lot of explosive play from Nicole KK. I've gotten to watch a couple of your matches and. In our NEC Fall 5, she was in the top plays for your match uh, vic set point kill from Nicole. So kind of talk to me about how she's been able to replace such a huge gap that Jessica Rice left when she graduated. And there's there's no one to replace Jessica Rice. She, uh, I don't know, she has a special spot in all of our hearts. But Nicole has been very good this preseason. She worked hard and she, she has become... Um, a lot better offensively and she's be also becoming better defensively blocking so I'm excited to see how she's gonna evolve over this season. As I mentioned that uh, Nicole had that great match point uh, against Alabama and you guys have proved that you continue to take down national powerhouses I mean Alabama was in the NCAA tournament last year just like you guys and, and unlike last year you beat you know, you didn't just take them, you beat them. And it was it was exciting to watch from our end. Do you guys have that expectation? Do you expect that high level of play? Or do you still continue to surprise yourselves at how much success you're having? No, we have high standards, and we always try to meet those standards. And it's great for us playing against those big teams, and we know we can beat them. We know we have the ability. And if we put in the work, if we just go into the gym, get it done, put in the work, then we can be successful and beat those teams. So let's talk a little bit about your play. You know, like I mentioned, you are a two-time NEC Player of the Year. We followed your career closely over the past three seasons. How have you seen your play evolve since you came to LA Brooklyn as a freshman? Um, coaches work with me on some things, such, um, such as footwork. So that has become better and. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so then we'll just talk about what you we've seen from you. We've seen you had 32 kills um, against Alabama. You almost broke the program record for single sec or single match kills. When you're on the court, do you realize how good you are? Do you realize how well you're doing? Like in that moment in Alabama, did you realize, man, I'm hot right now. Give me the ball. I know that I'm hot. Hot right now. I try to be every single game. There's there's almost no game that I don't feel like I'm like I, I'm on my game. Like I'm playing well, but I I don't really look at the stats. I just I just want my team to do well. I want my team to win. So if I would have 32 kills and we lose two three to Alabama, that doesn't mean anything to me. So as long as we win, everything's good. I don't really look that much at the statistics. So uh, it's your Caesar. It's your senior season. What are you most looking forward to this year? You know, you're about to graduate and go on and do a bigger and better things. What kind of mark do you want to leave on LIU Brooklyn? Well, I just, um, I just want to enjoy the last season, enjoy every single moment I get to spend with the girls on and off the court. Especially when we play, I just want, I want to have great great plays from every single person and celebrate every single point and then also enjoy 
my last year in New York because this has been like a great adventure for me coming all the way from Germany just with just, it, it's a different experience for me coming fr from a different place so this is kind of maybe an end to my adventure so yeah I'm gonna enjoy every single moment <laughs> Do you feel, I mean, you've talked so much about, the, uh, just from hearing you talk about your teammates, how you ha you guys seem to have a really special bond. Do you get sad knowing that, you know, tonight's your last, you know, home opener, that this is your last time with these girls? Um, yes, but, I mean, we, we still have time to go, so it's good. <laughs> I also live with two of them, so that also makes me bond more with them. So it's going to be hard, probably in May, in May when we leave or when I leave. It's going to be hard, but until now I'm still with them. I'm still spending a lot of time with them, so it's all good. <laughs> you mentioned earlier that you, being from Europe, you are used to the travel and the time change, and you guys aren't done traveling. I mean, you were in California, then Virginia, and you have some more tournaments still coming up. What is the one travel essential that you have to take with you that you can't leave home without? <laughs> Only one. Well, there's only one. <laughs> or you can have two, three, whatever. My iPod. <laughs> okay. And uh, good attitude and our Brooklyn swag. <laughs> <laughs> Your Brooklyn swag. Now, what does that involve? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it's a perfect really special. Nothing special? It, it, it is something special. It is something special. My mistake, my mistake. So I guess <laughs> that leads in perfectly to my final question. If you had to describe your team in LIU Brooklyn Volleyball in one word, what would it be? Um, diverse. Diverse. Because we have so many girls coming from uh, different countries. For example, Adriana is from Puerto Rico. I went to visit her in the summer. CJ is from Hawaii. I went to visit her the summer before. And it's just great having girls from all around the world and they all bring dif different attitudes, different cultural backgrounds and it's nice. I like it. So you said that you, or, uh, you've got to visit so many of your teammates. What's been one of the favorite places that you've gotten to go with your teammates? Oh. It's tough, I know. I mean, I have, I've I've never been to Hawaii. I feel like I want to go visit Hawaii with you. I mean, yeah, I, I didn't visit Hawaii with my with the team. Right. Was, yeah. But, I mean, that was a great place to visit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your day. I know today is game day. You've got a packed schedule. So good luck tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see an LAU Brooklyn win. Thank you. All right, LIU Brooklyn does host Cal, uh, Fresno State tonight at 6 o'clock in the Wellness Center. If you can't make it to campus, which you should, and you should be cheering on these girls, but if you can, it will be on NEC Front Row again tonight at 6 o'clock. This weekend, uh, LIU Brooklyn also plays at home for their Blackbird Invitational, so make sure you get out and show some support to a really great team who we're, we expect to see some big things from. So, Annika, again, thank you so much for joining us, and... Uh, good luck tonight. This has been another NEC Google Hangout, one of our fall spotlights. Tune in next week to see who we're talking with then.